What's going on everyone? This is Vulgars here and welcome to this week's Tip Tuesday. I know today is Wednesday, I apologize, I was very very busy yesterday so today is going to have to count for this week's Tip Tuesday. Anyway, regardless, this week's tip is something that you should all know but I'm doing this almost to recap it for those of you who do not, for those of you who are new to my channel and I made this tutorial when I had about 100 subscribers so there's a pretty good chance that a lot of you have not seen this but you may already know it. And this is how you can save a preset in Sony Vegas. What I mean by this is when you configure an effect or a pan crop to your liking and you want to save it maybe so next time you can use the same crop or the same effect you don't have to memorize all of those numbers, all those configurations, coordinates all you have to do is save a preset and it's actually very simple to do. So the first thing, I'm going to demonstrate this twice once with a color correction and twice with the pan crop function so you can see. Uh, first off, you're going to want to pick your effect and you can do this with absolutely any of these effects here and any effect that you see, these little icons here, already have presets built in for you. So I'm going to select uh, I'll do color balance. And I'm going to select red midtones. When I drag red midtones to my clip, I now have the ability to mess around with the RGB. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it have this dark purplish color. Now, I personally do not like this for a montage. But say you did. These numbers right here are pretty hard to remember. If you happen to want to use this again, they would be gone for good. So what you can do is save a preset. Now, to save a preset, all you have to do is you have to just highlight this box right here and save it as whatever you like. So just type in a name and then click save right here. Now, you're going to notice that now even if you remove the preset or the effect rather, you are still going to have the preset right here. So you can drag in any clip you would like and still drag this preset here. To delete the preset, all you have to do is click on this button right here and now removes the preset and it makes it very easy for you to add one effect to more than one clip. Now there's actually another way you can do this too by applying an effect to the whole entire track but I think that might take more than just a Tip Tuesday. We'll see. Uh, same deal, you know, with anything, any type of highlights. You can do that for anything. So uh, let me just remove this right here. And uh, now I'm going to do it with a pan crop. So I'm going to click the pan crop button right here. Or I can right click the clip and then do event pan crop and say I would like to zoom into my kill feed okay and I know that my kill feed is right here alright like it is and instead of having to position it this way every single time what I can do is save a preset so to save a preset for event pan crop is the same thing all I have to do is just highlight this little untitled box right here and type in something that I would like so I'm going to type in kill feed then I'm going to click save and for now on, any type of clip that I'll import, so let me just uh, import a clip. I will import this clip right here. Okay. Say I would like to apply the kill feed preset to this clip. All I have to do is click on the event pan crop, then click on this drop down box, and I will see all my presets, kill feed. And uh, as you can see, it now puts it to the same settings that were on this clip. And as you can see, here are some of my previous presets. I have HD PVR lines, which uh, pretty much, if you can see, it removes the lines on HD PVR. A bunch of really neat presets that I have accumulated over my time using Sony Vegas. And uh, this is the main reason why I'm not switching over to Sony Vegas 10, because I have all these presets already in uh, Sony Vegas 9. So let me just go back to uh, show you levels. Now levels is a pretty good effect to use. As you guys can see right here, I have just some random named I named this one Athlon, and as you can see, it just adds a nice contrast to it. And for now on, instead of trying to, you know, guess, all I have to do is just drag on whatever preset I want to use, and I can use it. So thanks for watching this week's Tip Tuesday. You probably already knew it. You might not. If you did not know this, or if you just want to help me out, you can please leave a like and or a favorite. That'd be great. Thanks for watching this week's Tip Tuesday, and have a great day.